So we are set. And it will be Rory Karens taking the opening draw against Jaden Groove, the Red Deer Rebel. And we're underway with the Battle of Alberta in the Young Stars Classic. Last Kicked out and turned over. The steal by Carter Savoy. And he burns Diot to the net with a backhander only to be denied. Just turned 19 the month before in June. Here's Petroff wiring one over the crossbar. Got Dewart with a clear up the right-hand side. Something brewing for Tolka centering pass off a skate and a save made. Van Mulligan had it bounce off his skate. Coronado breaks away from DeYoung. Line change for Edmonton. Here's Coronado across with a shot that's towed aside by Bowen. Aki to Berglund. And now poked away by Van Vliet. Calgary has something brewing. On his horse, a quick shot score. Ilya Nikolaev buries it over the left shoulder. And the Flames take a 1-0 lead. Good. About 15 backhands from about that spot this morning before Pornig Skate practicing that exact release. Tulio gives it up. Now Brady Stonehouse shoots and scores. Brady Stonehouse, the Ottawa 67, who scored 37 goals last season, buries one to tie the game on the Oiler power play. Berglund finds Borgo across. Savoy able to collect eventually. Borgo looked like he had a path to that. Elected to defer. Now Berglund cuts to the middle. A shot off the glove, a save. And then Borgo could not find for a rebound. But unable to clear Van Mulligan. Mante up top. Let's fly. Redirected oh. and taken off the goal line. A brilliant job of locating that puck from Van Mulligan. And he's able to send it. The full 200. Helps maintain possession in the offensive zone. McCoy is shot. That blistered wide. Caromed off the end wall. Mante down low. Centering pass, one-timer score. What a beautiful play. Dewart inside and the finish. Nikolaev, who's been all around the net, has scored his second goal of the game to make it 2-1 for the Flames. Aiki. Now it's McCoy, turned it over, quick chance save! And then Sloan pushed it wide. Sloan was right place, right time last night with a goal on a deflection and then a sitter on a rebound. It was a planned kind of 30-ish, 30 split tonight. Matt Bay Petrov steps up and it goes off the skate of Carl Berglund and into the net for the tying goal. Deadlocked at two. With Pilling, Klapka, Kuznetsov, and Diot. Diot with a turnover backhander off the post from Petrov. And Diot breathes a sigh of relief. Anti moving. Coronado up top, Groove. Bernard watches. One timer whistled home. Coronado buries it. And Calgary regains the lead with its first power play goal of the tournament. In front of the net is Berglund. The lateral deflected, and now the Flames might have something shorthanded. Donovan McCoy heading for the net, shoots off the glove, and that whistled just wide. Chris shot swallowed up by, once again, Nikolaev inside. Borgo denied Murphy. Borgo a second time, and Murphy a terrific save. In to this tournament. 14-0-2. Here's Borgo driving in, again denied for a third time. In the last couple of minutes by Connor Murphy. And here's Petrov to tie Tulio. Petrov heads for the net, centering pass off the skate of Petrov. Got it to Tulio. Wide open back door, and Aki can't get there in time. Glanced off the heel of his stick, and now Klapka chugs down the left hand side to the net. Take oh. it out, and we will have a penalty. Will we have a penalty shot? <laughs> it's just a trip. Warner in the slot, watching Coronado. Clean face off, win back to Moran. He'll move it over to Karens. Moran, Coronado, loading, firing. That might have glistened off the blocker. 
Moran has it back. They'll look for the cross seamer here. Karens, it's not there. So Moran, Coronado gets it back from Karens. Moran, shot, deflected home. Adam Klatka. And the Flames win it in overtime, four to three, with fittingly a power play goal, the fifth of the night, and the second for Calgary, the difference.